walk, so big, powerful, circular moves. So take a nice wide stance, get the arm in right angles, and then come through, punching through the target. See, the beginning of any journey is the best time to learn. So let's get some learning and let's get into it. Start in your left combat stance. Bend your knees, put the controllers up high into boxing guard and elbows into your ribs. We're going to be starting with a slow left jab. Here comes the target. Three more. Excellent. There's only two more now. Full range. Soft elbow. One more. Okay. See the other target coming? It's a jab and a cross. Let's go. Left hand, right hand, left hand, right hand. We want to hit them right down the middle. Let's release the shoulder, the hip, and the back heel on the cross. All right. Now let's maximize speed. It's a jab, cross, jab, and freeze. Go. Left, right, left, hold. Repeat that one. Boom, boom, boom. Did you get it? Oh yeah, yeah, you got it. Because look at your score. Your score's already going up. And we want to maintain that score lifting up by hitting every single target. Here's something you can try. Try and hit the middle of the target with a little bit more force. Yeah, that should feel really great. New move. Left uppercut and hold. Now the right. Back to the left. Short range, vertical strike. We want now the controller to come up through the center line of the chest. Let's pick up the pace. Let's go. One left, one right. Big rotation to the shoulders, forward. Some movement in the hips, some movement in the feet. Yeah, unwind. It feels good. Okay, catch your breath. We're going to do it all again, but with the right foot forward. Let's go. Lead arm, lead jab, right side, hit it. And again. Ready? Now. Bang. You're going to wait, 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 and then hit it right in the middle. Roll that knuckle over the top. Squeeze the controller. We're going to go jab and cross, right and left. Jab, cross, right, left. I see your shoulders dancing, baby. Let those shoulders roll. Let's get the core in. We're going to hit the triple shot. Right, left, right. Bang. Three, two, one. Go. Nice. And again. We say sit on the punch. That means bend your knees. Now wrap your hip around that cross. Feels good, doesn't it? Hip release brings power. Right in the middle of the target. That's where you want to hit it. One more, just like that. Let's go. Okay, vertical punch, uppercut. Right arm, bam. Left arm, right arm, stick with that tempo. Rolling the shoulders, picking up the tempo. Here it comes, a little quicker, go. Rolling, rolling, driving, bend your knees. Instead of getting the swing of things. Four more, four, three, two, one. Awesome, so let's move on. We've got a wide front stance. Let's hit a squat and then a left uppercut. So we go down, left, and then on the right. Yeah. Fairly quick squats, right? So try and get your butt down in line with the back of the knee. Chest up, abs brace. Hello, legs. Hello, glutes. Oh, my quads. I love the uppercut because it makes us stand up really tall, right? Now we're going to stay down. Stay down, stay down, stay down. Wait, wait, wait and then stand up slow. That's what we call a finisher. How was that? Good? I said just shake your legs, shake your shoulders. Very, very cool. All right, starting combat stance with the boxing guard. Left jab. Oh yeah, that target came out of nowhere. Come on, hit the jab, hit 
the target. So soft elbow, especially at the peak of the move. We want to move with the control. Now we're going to hit one left jab, one left slip. Slip out the way, go. So the slip is you want to move off to of a core. Yeah. So as that wall comes towards you, get out of the way. So you're utilizing the muscles of your abdominals. You're softening the knees in your stance. And you're staying really aware. All right, here it comes. Jab and cross four times, left and right. Four, three. Now, jab and slip twice. Once, twice. Excellent. Do that again. Really try and release your heel, especially when you throw the cross. You got that? Now, release the heel. There. Release the heel. There. Awesome. Tuck your chin in as you slip. How low abdominals. Oh, man, that wall was so close there. All right, new move. We're going to hit squats. Step wide. Turn your toes out, drop your butt down in line on the knees, and then stand up slowly. Drop, hold at the bottom, isolating the quads and the glutes. Now we're going to hit the squat a little bit faster. We go down and up. So lift your chest, out the brakes, hips are square. Got a new move for you. Squat down, stand up and hold. Open your arms out to the sides. In guard, drop down, stand up, open out. So it's like you're creating the letter T. It's a chest stretch. So we're going to do that with no pause. We go down and up. Seven more. See how quick it is? Try and hit that shape. So you want to squeeze your shoulder blades and spread your wings. I'm warming up the shoulders, baby. And hold. Great. The target's going to change. We're going to hit a left power hook. Go. Boom. Now your right side. Now your left side. Right. Speed, 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 speed. Woo! Elbows are bent, shoulders are engaged. You've got big rotation through your abdominals, through your hips, through your feet. Uppercut, change the target. Up, up. Oh, it's coming at us. Heart rate's lifting up now. It's a vertical strike. Forearm is in line with the center of the chest. Come up and under. Awesome. Last two and half. Right jab, let's get it, get it, go, boom. We're on the other side. No more surprises. Could be your best side. If you're a right-hander, like me, this is your best side. Two more. We're gonna hit that jab and that slow slip to the outside. Boom, bend your knees, get out of the way. But how? Try to think about using your core like a boxer would. Slip out of the way, minimal movement, maximum range. All right, two more. You have what it takes. Full combo. Jab cross, slow, right, left, four. Now hit that jab and slip. Make it dynamic. Oi. Yep. So visualize something coming towards you, see it? And then get out of the way as quick as you can and come back ready to counter strike. Hit those targets. We do use the legs. Yeah, of course you use the legs. But think about it coming from the core. Last one. Nice work. All right. Front stands. Toes out, knees out. Brace your abs. Drop the squat and hold. But right down by the knees and then drive up. Two more. Slow squeeze to the top through the glutes. Now speed it up for four. Two more. Here comes the big chest stretch. Down up. Open the hands. Oh, that feels good. Try this. Squeeze between your shoulder blades as you extend the arms. We're going to do eight reps faster. Let's go. Eight. I love this bit. Four more. Three. All right, hold up. Right. Boxing guard, hands up. You see it coming? You're going to hit it with the right hook. Get it, go. Left hook, so you can keep running your right hook. I don't get a shit We're gonna spit it up. Bang, bang, bang. Let's go. The hook. One of the biggest power moves you're gonna see. And it comes when you really turn your hip into the hook. Try that. Turn it in. That's it. Side to side. Release the heel. New target. Uppercut. Go, go, go. Are you bending your knees? It's really getting those shoulders rolling. I know. Uppercuts are tricky. Keep doing them. You'll get it. Five, four, three, two, one. This workout is all about putting your body in the right position to load before you explode. Watch out for them random targets.
I ain't kidding either. This has got a groovy beat. We're going to start with a little side slip. You're going to go to your left. Stop playing. Move it. Uh, yeah. yeah, I like to dance in the shadow as well. Right. I think you know which way you've got to slip. Otherwise, you're going to get hit. Left. Left jab. Slip right. Right jab. Slip left. Slip right. Yep, it got faster. Left jab. Right jab. Slip and move. This is how we move around the ring. You've got to be able to move and strike. Okay. Jab. Power. So load, buddy. Think about grounding your feet to the floor. Rolling your shoulder. Turning the body. It's getting faster. It's about to get even faster. Unload. Go. Shoulder rolling. Switching the core arm. You got it. You feel confident? A little swag. A little shoulder swag. All right. Little combo. Three, two, one. Slip and move. Squat down. And coming. Four jabs. Four, three, two. Slip to the left. Now get down. Get under. Four jabs. Load in. Shoulders. Core. Full body weight. So the reason we're moving around is, you'll see when a boxer's in the ring, they learn to move their feet in the right position to be able to load power in the punch. Don't let me distract you. you got work to do. All right, uppercut. Load the shoulder. Roll your shoulder forward and then bring the punching shoulder forward. Like a figure of eight. Big hook. Now turn your hip and imagine you're hitting your hip into the target. Release the heel. All right, uppercut. So quicker. Lift, right, left, big right hook. Slip left. Squat down. Keep flowing. No hating. Uppercut, left, right. Big right hook. Slip left. If you want to make those M-O-V-E-S, you got to load the shoulders. Yep, it's slow. Yes, you've got time. Go big with your movement. Go big in the range. Now get into the legs. Squeeze your glutes as you push out of the squat. Dip and dive. Getting down. Tucking under. Standing up. Go. Oh, you're good at this now. Oi, big one. <laughs> you look like you're having a good time there. You're boogieing. So because it's slow, let's just focus on power. Come on. Not much that you really need to learn now, other than just perfecting your movement, enjoying it, cruising with it. See that? Rhythm's already changed. And you know it's about to get faster. We've been here before. Come on. Tuck your chin down a little bit. Drive the power from the shoulders. Yep, hello, shoulders. Yeah, you're still getting a workout. You just forgot because you're having such a good time, right? All right, we're going to mix it up now. Come on. Power shot, power shot. Remember that side slip. Get down and squat. All right, you're on your own now. Quick reactions. Just a few tips to maximize your technique. Remember your full range and then bend your knees every time. So when you're slipping, you're still bending your knees. So you're slipping and crunching. And when you're squatting, you still want to brace your abs, keep your hips square and your chest lifted. Power strikes. Random strikes. Did you get them? Uppercut. Now roll in an under, change arm. Back to your right. And back to your left. But try and hit these hooks and imagine you're hitting a big, heavy punch bag, yep? Use all the power in your shoulders, your hip and your legs. Up, through the sky now. Turn the corner. Drop out the way. Get out of the way. You're in the rhythm. I love it. M-O-V-E-S. And you certainly have some... Just remember to breathe out. Use your breath. Come on. Breathe out. Breathe out. Breathe out. Breathe out. Big side step. Oh, turn your body. So that was about a quick reaction. So we're still working on your motor skills. Still throwing random tugs every now and then just to see what your reaction timing is like. 
I'm looking at your combo score right now, and you are doing amazing. And look at that total leaderboard score. Wow, come on, hold on. We're nearly at the end now. Finish really big, come on. Oh yeah, get out of the way. Hit it, hit it. Oh, perfect. That score was perfect.